just want to talk about the focus on MGTOW. Um, I'm going to show, do a shift uh, more on to keeping on the positive side of the MGTOW and actually covering things to do, things that work, etc. Um, I think we've covered enough on the relationship side and I do recognize there's a lot more channels out there with a lot more material relating to um, the issues around the the movement and why it's begun etc and in all honesty i think we've covered enough from my perspective on those sort of things so i'd rather focus on things that can actually change things um i mean if you're looking at getting your financial control sorted out i do recommend eat that frog um that book is quite useful and you can get it as an audio book as well and the whole point is is relating to eating the frog because the frog is the is the problem the problem being you eat the worst problem first because obviously eating the frog is not the the best thing on the menu um but the the point being is you deal with that one first because the other ones will actually be easier because if you work up to a bad problem what you normally have is while you're doing the other ones you're still focused on the big problem but if you hit that one first things can become easier because you've got rid of the biggest issue um so yeah i do get it and uh, i do recommend actually having a read of that book now um i do think we should cover more on things like um aquaponics hydroponics more sustainable stuff that you, people can do from home um i do think there's Although some people talk about being thrifty, it's actually living smart. You know where your food products and products have come from. Um, in the same way of looking at investments, and I'll do some stuff on trading, and there's enough interest on trading. Um, I'll actually go through how to do day trading, swing trading and stuff, and I'll cover a lot of material that you would normally pay some money for. Um, because I can actually explain how to do all this stuff anyway. I've, I've already invested a lot of time into it. Um, so from that point of view, I can share a lot of information f for that, which is also independence. Um, is it purely MGTOW? I would say, for me, it's men or women. I would say it's more focused on single individuals. But I would also say that a lot of the stuff would overlap with people trying to make a living or trying to save for their first trip abroad etc etc because it's, it's promoting um, sustainability self-sufficiency um, what else C confidence um, the ability to look after yourself you know at the end of the day a lot of this stuff out there that is on the negative side is designed to get you roped into having to have this connection with somebody else forming a marriage, forming this, forming that. At the same time, it's all skewed. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to avoid getting into another video on some of the negative stuff, but even if you look at that article I posted yesterday and that little snippet I took out, they took the one thing which was actually using the legal system, and then even if they don't agree with it and it's perfectly legal, they'll still contest it anyway. Um, and I think that's the problem with a lot of the stuff related to feminism. It is not a case of, well, just give us that and we'll shut up or whatever. It's a case of, well, we took that, we've won that, what's next, what's next, what's next? And even if there is no reason for, to do it, there's, <coughs> there seems to be a drive to force it. Um, I mean, that was when I noticed about the, the welfare stuff. You don't take away our welfare, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... Welfare is paid for, and I, I don't see why people have this false entitlement to welfare. It sh nobody should need welfare. It, the society should be able to function without this desire um, to live off the back of others. Um, <clears throat> I mean, in the Philippines, there, there's pretty much nothing that will bail you out. You, people look after each other. And that, that is a much fairer system in the sense that it's based on outcome. You know, at the end of the day, if you've never put anything in the system, why, why would you expect to get so much out? But like I said, I'm trying to move away from all that stuff. We'll focus on the positive stuff. We'll focus on um, relationships even. 
I'm actually writing a book as we speak. Um, this one will actually cover um, my first eight years in the Philippines, and then I'll go and do another book on relationships um, for finding somebody in the Philippines. And I've got about five other books. We'll see how they get on. You know, if any of them sell, I'll be happy. You know, because I do know that some people have done quite well or had a change of perspective at least by watching this channel or watching my old blogs and stuff reading my own blog old blogs and stuff so i do know that they have influenced positive change in a lot of people so right now i'm just going to write a book and it may not be the best book i'm just going to write it as is because i'll be honest with you if i start editing it it'll probably never get finished so i'm just going to write it finish it and it can be edited later you know if people want something to change on it they can do but the, the whole point is I'm just going to write it and put it out there because uh, otherwise it will still be sat on my desk in 10 years time um, this is one of the big problems that people do fundamentally have and as I've just admitted myself I do the same sometimes which is we quite simply don't finish some stuff and um, we think about it too long we don't just roll with it and see how, see what happens most successful people and leadership comes from taking a decision and running with it. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, because the whole point is you run with it. Most people don't. It doesn't matter if they make a mistake along the way. <clears throat> the point is, it's not sitting there doing nothing. It, it's like, right, we've got to do this. Get on with it. Well, that's a crap idea. It's a crap idea. Just run with it. And then what happens is people will work to it, which means you've now got a goal, and the goal allows you to adapt to make that goal work. And that's what this is about. The book I'm going to sit and write over the next couple of days. Yeah, um, we'll see how that works out. Um, <clears throat> but I'm hoping I can get it finished. Um, but that there is a positive step in the right direction because some of that information will actually be useful for people to go to the Philippines um, it will also allow people that want to do something different to go and experience something new um, the dating one will actually also promote that there's other opportunities out there beyond what we're told is our daily life um, it should be interesting um, like I said, um, if anybody wants to edit it as well, please get in touch. Because if, if you want to do the editorial for me, go for it. Because it also help me drive to finish the book. Because I can let you focus on that and I can focus on just writing it. But those are things I'm working on right now. And one, before I finish, I've got, before it hits 10 minutes, one of the things I want to talk about as well is a reboot. Reboot is something I do... Um, when things are starting to level off and i do recommend this with the the crypto for example the crypto ico markets changed and they just had this consensus 2018 which i do think is actually going to be a little bit toxic from the a decentralized network pushing in all the centralized people um i do think there's a lot of toxic uh, toxic stuff going to hit the bitcoin markets and whatever the market's still going to grow, don't get me wrong. There'll still be profits in it, but I do think it's going to have some questions answered on where the blockchain, Bitcoin, and other, everything else is going because it's been allowing itself to become centralized. Um, I did bring this up with a couple of people this week that says, right, we're decentralized, decentralized. Okay, uh, to get the tokens and stuff off us, you have to uh, give us your passport information. What? You're just centralizing it by holding information that you shouldn't even be holding. That wasn't part of the agreement on the investments. <laughs> um, but there's a prime example. They, they're now centralizing a lot of it, which puts a lot of people off. Um, but <coughs> point B, reboot. Reboot is part and parcel of where I go through things and see that right, this is slowing down on its growth. There is money to be made on the day trading, the swing trading. Can focus on that, but at the same time, I could write a couple of ebooks. Um, I could do a bit more traveling. I can do other things. What you recognize is that things are slowing down, like say financially, or it could be a relationship. It doesn't matter. The, the whole point is there's something that is not functioning properly. The builders I've dealt with before. 
Uh, this is why I tell April, you know, in the Philippines, get rid of them. I'll get somebody else tomorrow when they're crap builders. Uh, this is a reboot. Because what you're doing <coughs> is drawing a line in the sand. The following day, what you're doing is ignoring all the stuff in the past. So if it was re really bad builders, I'm going to have to take some tea. If it was really bad big builders and they have done a lot of damage, rather than focusing on they've wasted your time, money and everything else, which is w what may happen, you just go, right, we need to finish this this week. And you just ignore all the, the crap that happened yesterday. With the, the market slowdown on crypto, I am moving to focus on other things beyond that. Um, we did, we've done quite well out of it and I can get back to day trading as and when I feel like it. But the, the, the point being is I'm seeing that there's a shift. When they had consensus 2018, Coin, uh, what's it? I think it's Coin Telegraph. It's one of the, it's one of the, the, ma the magazines out there relating to it. Basically held all the information for themselves, but meant there was a, lot, a lack of information coming out from consensus 2018 because they want to control the media on it. Centralization. Um, so from that point of view, I do think there's going to be some infighting within the crypto space as such. <clears throat> my reboot is like, okay, my focus is more on day trading, swing trading, um, upgrading what my knowledge base, but also I'll do some stuff on MGTOW and I'll do some stuff on um, writing a few eBooks and maybe doing a bit of traveling around. That's reboot. I'm not focusing on all the stuff that happened yesterday and whatever. It's focusing like, okay, we know we've got some problems there. Just ignore those because you're not going to fix them. Move forward with where you're going from today. And that way, you're, it's a bit like eat that frog scenario. You've got rid of the problem because these problems are yesterday's problems. So today, this is how we move forward. And the reason this is quite important, especially if you're in financial problems, is instead of focusing on you have a huge debt for example you're focusing on today you're focused on moving things forward you're focusing on the correction not on the problem now some people say well you're not focusing on the problem is a bad thing you already know the problems there though so for example say you have a debt of twenty thousand dollars you already know that debt is twenty thousand dollars and your interest let's just say you're your interest is growing every month because you cannot meet that debt obligation. That is not going to change by you thinking about it. What can change is changing your mindset instead of focus on that. Focus on what can you do today? Okay, write an ebook, do a website, do sales on on Facebook groups or whatever. You know, the the whole point is financially you know you need to make more money and you find ways to do it because you've rebooted and focused on how to move forward instead of um, hanging around in the past. And the same works for relationships. If your relationship fails, do not focus on it. <clears throat> Simple as that. Um, now, I'm not talking about you fell out and you, you'll probably be back together by Friday. I'm talking about the fact that you're <coughs> divorced, getting in a, getting a divorce or you've split up and don't want to talk to each other anymore etc get rid of all that old baggage and i'm not saying that in the form of a woman i'm just saying all that stuff that you carry where anger um bitterness or whatever brought this on <clears throat> the different emotions tied to it and move past it that's all in the past today like a lot of guys with MGTOW, they're focusing on MGTOW and making it happen. Now, I do, like I said, I do see a lot of stuff in MGTOW which is quite um, negative, but at the same time, the negative focus is actually trying to reiterate why MGTOW is there. This is why it's quite a complex thing, because I understand exactly where they're coming from. But I do think on this channel, it's much better to focus on, right, get rid of the bad stuff, and we recognize this stuff exists. At the same time, how do we move forward from here and that's why i like reboot reboot just simply says right okay i'm 
like let's just say I got divorced next Friday. My wife tells me off if I use the word divorce anytime, but uh, imagine that had happened and I would simply go right from today. Uh, the first thing is I need to set up my own bank account. I need to analyze my assets. I need to see how I can move forward from here. And, and then start looking at, can I generate extra income? Can I generate income that no one else can see? Is there other ways around the entire system? Can I get into hydroponics, aquaponics, whatever? Grow my own vegetables, um, which has more than one positive side to it. First one is, it, it, it's good for you. You know, at the end of the day, it, allow, it allows you a bit of discipline by having to feed your plants, water your plants, etc. Um, it gives you some produce that you create yourself and a bit of a the self-sufficiency as well as being able to show that you can do this yourself um, and along with it obviously some cost savings in there not always but a lot of time you can be um, depends how how you grow stuff but the, the, the point being is it's, it's something you can do yourself so you motivate yourself in positive ways instead of getting dragged into the negative, which is something I do strongly recommend anybody doing. Um, I do see a lot in the expat community in the Philippines, a lot of people get into the negative stuff and just sit there. They, they, you'll see people arguing and arguing and arguing and arguing. They're like, but does it actually make any difference to you? Is it, has it any bearing on your life? Is this going to fix anything? If it's all of the above with a no, go do something else. Um, so yeah, but yeah, that's why I'm going to take the MGTOW on the channel. I do think it'll be a more int more interesting as well because obviously this isn't MIG a MGTOW channel. It's um, well, it's my name, but at the end of the day, it's covering the Philippines, Spain, and other bits and pieces. So this is just another chapter to that. So it'd be quite interesting. Thanks for watching.